Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. This is the Bounder BB Show broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas. Who do I have in the studios with me? This is Dr. Anita Gupta and Penny Cowan. Welcome, ladies. I'm so excited to talk with you. I, can I start with you, Dr. Gupta? You're a pain specialist. Set the medical platform for us. Well, pain is a epidemic right now in the United States. It's a public health issue, and, and there are so many individuals who suffer with chronic pain and, and a variety of different conditions. The survey that was conducted uh, by Iroco was really a, done, by, uh, done to really explain how individuals are managing their pain, to understand how they're dealing with the pain, the kind of medications they're taking, and there was really an astounding, alarming results that were found in the survey. Penny, how do you intersect with pain that Dr. Gupta is talking about? Um, I'm also a person living with pain. And, you know, it wasn't surprising to me that in, in the survey, what we found is that 8 out of 10 people experience some form of pain. But what, what, what's really surprising is that probably close to 50% of those feel pain, experience pain almost on a weekly basis. But only 31% of those feel like their pain is being controlled. So we have a whole group of people, and actually 60% of those don't even talk to their healthcare provider about pain management, what can I do? A third of the people that we surveyed, you know, they, told, they said they totally ignored their pain. They just try to avoid it altogether, ignore it, and go on with their lives. But the other part of the survey was around NSAIDs. And what we found out is that 50% of the people didn't even know what an NSAID was. And only 27% of the people we're aware of the FDA's recommendation for taking the, the lowest effective dose for the shortest amount of time. And that's really important. And that's why it's so important to talk to your healthcare provider okay. and to understand how these medications are working for you, what are the risks, what are the benefits of taking mm -hmm. these medications. That's right. Dr. Gupta, I'm really big on uh, hearing the prescriptions from you guys. As doctors, it doesn't, seem, it doesn't seem to matter what's wrong with you. You have a standard prescription. Mm -hmm. Eat right, exercise, take your medications. Mm -hmm. How important is it to take your medications? You know, you mentioned some very, very important points. I mean, just being a healthy individual really can reduce uh, the risk of pain. But when it comes to taking medications, you have to take it as directed. That's why doctors prescribe them. And oftentimes, if you don't take it as directed, you won't get the benefit that you're looking for. And, and also very important, specifically with NSAIDs to understand that there are risks. Uh, it can cause heart attack, it can cause stroke, it can actually cause bleeding in, in the stomach and in the, in the GI system. So telling your doctor about over-the-counter NSAIDs that you're taking, which could include ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin, um, in addition to perhaps prescribed NSAIDs, is so important to avoid some of these risks and also to allow you to have the safest, most effective regimen to treat your pain. Well, got to say this. What do I hear people take other people's medication. What's your thoughts on that? Well, look, you know, that's not, you know, really a great way to control your pain. I mean, you know, People can have drug interactions. Everyone's made very differently. There's other medical conditions that can impact how a drug works. So that's not really advisable. I mean, the best thing is to talk to your doctor, talk to your pharmacist, make sure you understand all the options that exist, understand how to take NSAIDs safely, and really you know, have that conversation, which could really change the course of your treatment. Penny, from the survey, what's the most important thing? And I know everything is important, but what's the most important thing that came out of the survey? 
Um, there were actually there were several things. I think the fact that people don't understand what an NSAID is and how to take it, you know, taking the, the lowest effective dose for the shortest amount of time, that's really critical. But I think the other point is that, you know, people should not ignore their pain. They need to have that conversation with their health care provider. They need to talk about what all their options are, what medications are appropriate for them given their condition, uh, what are the other things that they can do, what are some of the other things like acupuncture, you know, physical therapy, counseling, nutritional guidance, all those things. What can, what can the physician recommend? And then what are the self-management skills that an individual needs to know to really begin to take that active role in the recovery process? So rather than being a passive patient, they become an active participant in their health care. And that's really how it should be. We should take an active role in our health. We should understand what we're taking, how to take it, how much we should be taking, taking it as prescribed. I mean, all of those things are so very important, but also the exercise and nutrition, you know, managing stress, pacing, all those things are really important in learning to live a full life in spite of pain. Thank you so much, Penny. Dr. Gupta, you're considered one of the top pain management specialists. Is there any parting words would you like to leave my audience with that will really help them be on the right course? You know, one of the most important things that I can tell you, and you know, something that I really strongly believe in is really talking. Uh, talk to your doctor. Uh, you know, I take a very active role in my patient's care. I ensure that their pain is clearly explained to me so that I can treat them more effectively. And that means talking about just being healthy, talking about all the medications you're taking, even over-the-counter medications, and understanding some of the risks that can occur and in, in, in when you take all these medications and all the other treatments. In order to have a comprehensive treatment plan that's effective, those lines of communication need to be open uh, between you and your doctor and your family. Thank you, ladies. This has been very enlightening. Is there a place on the web my audience can go and find out more information? You know, I think the best place for them to go to find out what's best for each individual is to talk to their own health care provider. I mean, that is the best place. There's a lot of good sites out there on the web, but if they want to know about what's the best treatment for them, they need to talk to their health care provider. That's correct. Ladies, great advice. Thank you as always, and thank you, Dr. Gupta. Thank talk you. To you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.